you won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. <clears throat> All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should like... Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably... Head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. They all have this. Oh. You're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you've got to do something. Two of them by the stall. Get that tall. Get the cattle out of here. Rich man's father. You boys are over. Come on, hop the fence. Tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Ah. Watch it burn! You gonna be a lesson for the ranchers. Dub. Dub Hicks, prop this on your sails. I'll be up in a moment. Hey, is anybody gonna help me? Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, yeah, right. What are you doing, Jim? Milton, what are you doing? Whoa there. Off 
your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Babe, <laughs> you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. I tried to be I got this. You boys take the cattle. Back there, son. Where are you, big fella? Pants taking, get shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> 
backwards, Saka, oh. no good, trash. <laughs> I can't tap this any faster, man. I ain't that quick with it. woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in... <laughs> We gotta get the heck out of here. There's been a crime committed. Let's go. can really fight. Save the whole place. Oh. <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that was good to hear Arthur's voice. Yeah, this is an Abigo mission. John, you're in trouble. I can't tell which one of these are cows or which one of them are bulls or steers or hey hey watch out there heifer hop over the street stump like a man oh come on oh man we're struggling 
Here we go. Let's go talk to my wife. Abby, I have something to say to you. How are you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? It's real bumpy here. Oh. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said he was pride or something. And Ma was wrong about that. Ooh. Yeah, be careful saying that, that kind of stuff. Ooh, an elk. I don't have my guns. What the heck? That's one part about this part of the game that I don't like. It's not very real. I, I don't know, Pa. Take him. It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then. Hold to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough for now. Back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to move, move dude. Clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Walking on the road. Can I trust you not to drive off with it. Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Alright, 
Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Oh. Sorry, sir. <laughs> My bad. Hi. I'm here to name. My Jim name, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. There you go. Jim Milton. Not John Marston. Jim Milton. Nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Oh boy. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Oh no. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail uh, no. Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Nope. Sure. I hope so, at least. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Move, move, we'll move, move. No. Sure. Come on, son. No, no. Let me have him. Try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Oh, good grief. Marston, read the room. Did you not see the guy in the post office? So wait, we've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? Yep. That's what we're doing. Turns out. I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Dude, it's yes, been sir. like 10 Thank minutes. You. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pee up! This. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no, keep driving. Yep. Let's speed this up. I think this is a comfortable pace right here. We got some weather picking up. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Whoa. Okay. What? 
What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but... He was trying to rob... You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! Oh. Oh. Dang, I can't hit right now. Boom. All right, come on, Jack. Jack, come on. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Keep your eyes closed, Jack. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Calm down, Jack. Look at that Appaloosa. No, it wouldn't. Mm. Sorry, I got distracted from the story. What? John, you are shaky, man, because I can't stay on the road with you, man. It's, I don't, 
We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? You told me to use my name. That's what happened. Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Hey, hold on. Uh, there's a...